Hi everyone, it's Sonia here and I thought I'd do a quick episode of I Love Science for you today and as you can see I have with me here Tiliqua, uh, Tilly, Tilly her, his or her name is Tiliqua skinkoides, is an eastern blue tongue lizard and eastern blue tongue lizards are found in eastern and northern Australia and as you can see he or she's got the blue tongue going there at the moment, very important. So what I wanted to just tell you quickly about um, lizards like Tilly is that they love living in garden and woodland areas. So if you find one in your backyard, consider yourself very lucky. It means your garden's very healthy. And they're really good for pest control as well because they like to eat things like snails and slugs. So very, very fortunate for you. So if you do find one in your garden, just leave it alone. It'll, um, it'll just take care of itself and eat all your slugs and snails. Uh, that's why you can't use um, uh, snail pellets though. That's not so great. So these lizards can um, grow up to 60 centimetres in length and they can also weigh up to about a kilo and some of them can live for up to 30 years. So that's very impressive as well. As you saw before, the blue-violet um, cobalt, cobalt, cobalt blue, blue tongue um, is what's called aposomatic and that means when they flash that blue tongue it tells their natural predators that I might be poisonous to you because I have a blue tongue and it might be dangerous. So that's that helps them stay alive. They're also ovoviviparous, which means when the females have a clutch of uh, young, they actually have the eggs that hatch inside their body and they can give birth to between five to 25 live babies. So that's very impressive. They also, blue tongues are diurnal, which means they um, are active during the day. Um, and they are omnivorous, meaning that they can eat both uh, greens. I hope it doesn't eat my earlobe there at the moment, but they like greens and meat as well. Uh, and they also brumate, which is different to uh, hibernating. So they don't hibernate, they brumate, which means they'll come out and uh, bask in, in the sun on a hot day on the concrete. And that's why you, you probably heard the saying, like a lizard flat out like a lizard drinking, they will um, flatten themselves out as much as possible to, to absorb all the warmth of the concrete, but then they'll go back into the garden and, and hide in the garden um, when it's much colder. So that's a lot of info uh, about blue tongue lizards. They're really good as pets too. Uh, once they get used to being handled, they're really cute and um, they like being handled as well. So there you go. That's today's episode of I Love Science. So I hope you're all doing well in lockdown and we'll see you soon.